welcome once again kindly tap the subscription button and be subscribed to my channel let me bring a lesson on calculations on waves one calculations on waves one whereby we are going to take an example then i will bring a question which you will be trying later so i want to read a question an example which says waves on a spring at the rate of twenty wavelengths in five seconds. Then we are told to, to do what? Find the frequency. Find wavelength of the wave if the wavelength of the wave is 0 0.01 meters find the speed of the wave find the speed then part C the period of the wave. So these are the questions we are going to navigate. This is what we are going to do. And, uh, we'll call it a lesson. Find the frequency of the wave motion given that waves are produced at the rate of 20 wavelengths in 5 seconds. So we know what we call frequency. We say the frequency is the number of oscillations. Oscillations per second or per unit time. The number of oscillations per unit time. So the frequency will be if we have 20 in 5 seconds, then in a second we will have 4 of them. So after getting 4, we don't call 4. The wavelengths per second we call it hertz capital H small letter Z in full hertz is written as but now it's abbreviated capital H small letter Z so here we want the frequency which is defined as the number of complete oscillations per second and we are given number of oscillations and the time they take to be produced which means now to get the number of oscillations per unit time then you will divide the complete oscillations with the time they take to be produced now we can go to part b whereby we find wavelength okay we are given wavelength to find speed so wavelength is 0 0.01 and we are getting this one as four we want v we want v remember we said that velocity v is given by f multiplied by lambda so it should be given by 0 0.01 multiplied by 4 this should be 0 0.04 meters per second therefore the velocity for this wave is 0 0.04 meters per second part c find the period find the period of the wave find the period of the wave we know that a uh, period t is given by the reciprocal of f period t is given by the reciprocal of f so in this case, you get the reciprocal of 4, which will be 0 0.25 seconds. 0 0.25 seconds. It is important 
to know that alternatively, we can say that T is the time taken for one oscillation or one cycle. Time taken for one cycle. This means for us to get the time taken for one cycle, in this case, if 20 cycles or 20 wavelengths, 20 wavelengths take 5 seconds, then what about one complete wavelength? How long will it take? So it will be wavelength by 5 all over 20 wavelength. This should be 5 over 20, which is 1 over 4. This will take us to the same answer. 0 0.25 seconds 0 0.25 seconds so that is how we operate the question like to give an assignment so just try this question later we will still remain in the same same the same same formula so use the same same formulas in the you will interpret the question just the way we have gone through that one. I'm sure you are going to understand something. So we are told that uh, a water wave travels travels 10 meters in 4 seconds. If the frequency of the wave the wave is two hours calculate part A the speed of the wave and part B the wavelength of the wave So this is the question you'll be trying later during the whole time. After the trial, you can just inbox your response to the number so you can forward your response to this number. subscribe to shifting grades and share the link thank you